You ready? Yes. All right. The Xbox story true, first of all? Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> very true. Uh, yeah, growing up as a kid, man, I, I stayed on, you know, the Xbox playing NCAA, Madden, all, that, all the, you know, all the sports games. But in fact, yes, that's the first time I, um, you know, kind of read David O'Brien's name when I was on the, on the Xbox. What's the last 10 days been like for you since you announced your decision to, to go football over baseball? I think it's been a lot more, I don't want to say peaceful, but for me, you know, waking up, um, you know, kind of just having it out there, uh, it's been a lot easier on me. Um, just getting to focus on actually, you know, working every day towards, you know, being, a, being an NFL quarterback and uh, putting myself in the best position possible for, uh, you know, come draft day. You outlined it in your, uh, your tweet, you know, just your love for the game and you repeated it again here tonight. But could you kind of tell us what, how difficult the decision was and, and what ultimately uh, caused you to go this way? Um, I, I don't think, you know, not, not many people have been in this position to have to, you know, just quit one. Um, and it's not easy just to, you know, drop one like, like this. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I had to obviously had to pick one. And, um, you know, my, my, uh, my gut, my heart, it's, it's all in football. So did I feel like I can be successful at the baseball yet? Uh, at baseball, yes. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm, I'm a football player. Given that you've known about this award, this at least gave you a run, if not the award itself, for as long as you have, and, and growing up in this area where it's given out, what does it mean to you to have won this award now as a local player? You know, obviously, you know, winning the Heisman's a big deal, but um, man, I was, like I said, you know, earlier when I mentioned being a kid playing Xbox, you know, winning that award on, on the game, uh, it's, it's a, you know, it's a childhood dream, which is to, you know, have my name uh, mentioned with, with, with these other athletes, with these other, you know, players that have won this award. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it's a little surreal, and I don't really know the magnitude of it right now, but, you know, one day I will, uh, and I'm very appreciative to uh, you know, win this award. What goes through your mind when you walk into that chamber across the way you see McMahon and Manning? I, I, saw, like yeah, I, I saw a little bit of it. Um, and I, I saw myself, you know, my jersey and stuff. It's just like, it's, it's all weird right now, just because you know I'm kind of living in it. You know, I'm a kid at the end of the day. I'm, I'm 21. You know, and it, it, it's it's all surreal, but I'm very, you know, I'm very blessed to be in the position. And uh, how long have you known that the NFL is the direction? Uh, since I was a kid, I mean, I, I always wrote down being a professional athlete. But for me. You know, Played all three sports growing up, but football, you know, football is this. Uh, there's something about football that you just can't really explain. If you played it, you played it, you understand that, you know, what it takes to uh, you know, be successful at, at, at the game. It's just, it takes a lot. And, you know, it, it's, there's a love for the game that I can't really explain, but uh, you know, obviously, you know, my, my career, as far as you know, the early stages of my college career, it wasn't looking too hot. So you know, I, didn't, I didn't know how the NFL felt about me. And then after. Uh, after this past season, it was to go in and um, you know, kind of put myself in the best possible situation. Uh, I think I did that. And you know, now you got a 5 10 kid projected in the first round playing quarterback, which is it's not normal. So I think I did pretty well. Uh, people talk about the money. There's a lot more money to be made in the NFL. How much of a factor was that in your decision? I actually, I've, I've heard of it. Uh, but uh, the money, no, the money. I mean, obviously the money wasn't uh, it wasn't you know, a big deal just because I, I literally played football for free. You know? I could have, you know, I could have not even played this this baseball or this football season and just went and uh, you know worked on you know, being a professional baseball player. But you know, I decided to go play football and. Uh, and that we're How about this process in the meantime and leading up to the draft? How far are you Looking forward to it a lot. Um, you know, it's not really on my mind. I can't really control where I go or anything like that. I'm just putting the work in, uh, you know, putting the work in to, you know, better myself and you know, put myself in the best situation possible to come draft us. So uh, I can't really decide where I go, but uh, I'll definitely be ready. It excites you to know that Cliff Kingsbury has the first pick in the draft? Like I said, I can't put any <laughs> expectations on what's going to happen. Uh, would I love to go play for him? Of course. Um, but you know, I, don't, I, 
uh, that's not my decision. How would your style of play fit his offense if that were to happen? Uh, I, I just, I mean, if you've watched, you know, football, I mean, they run, we kind of run similar offenses. Uh, I don't think it would be a big adjustment. Uh, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna play fast. He's gonna play a shotgun. Uh, he's gonna throw the ball around. He's gonna put you in space. Uh, he's gonna let. He, I, I mean, I, me and him have a good relationship. Uh, so I, I think he'd let me be me and uh, allow me to do what I do. So I think it'd be a great, uh, a great thing. Yeah, I mean, I actually had a sit-down interview with him about about football and baseball. It's a pretty pretty good deal. You think you're the best quarterback in this draft? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to, right? Yeah, exactly. Did you know that Davy O'Brien was only uh, five seven? I actually, yes, I do know. <laughs> I do know that. So it, me and him have something in common. Well, what are you going to measure? Are you what are you, no, I, 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 yeah, no. clarify that. <laughs> once, and, once and for all, what are you going to measure when you're at the combine? You know, I don't. I don't wake up in the morning and measure myself. So I know I don't know that, but it's definitely not five seven. <laughs> are you looking? How much are you looking? Eight. Eight. How, much are you looking for? how much are you looking forward to the combine and all that entails? Um, honestly, I'm. I'm looking forward to all of it, just because I mean, it's it's once in a lifetime deal, and you, know, you got to make the most of it. I, mean, I gotta I gotta go in there and you know, prove to an organization why they should invest in me. So um, I'm ready, uh, and we'll y'all will all see how tall I am. Soon, so. We got time for one more. He's got some pictures. We're, we're asking about it now. Asking this question, but is it a little aggravating and tiresome to be uh, asked about? the hype thing over and over again? No, I mean, it's, it's, people are going to say what they want to say. I just, I don't get with the whole, five, like, 5-8, five, like, all that stuff. I don't, I don't, I'm not uh, suggesting that. I, yeah, I don't understand that, but, uh, I've heard some wild stuff over the past month, but, um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's all fun. I'm pretty used to it by now, so, uh, you know, like I said, we'll see, you know, the combine is next week. Uh, We'll see where, you know, how much I weigh, how big my hand is, how tall I am. We'll see all that. So. Do you think any of that stuff matters in the long run? You're, you're, you're a football player. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, if it didn't matter, they wouldn't bring it up to you know, in their eyes. Um, so uh, I'll be ready. <laughs>